Hello, and welcome back to Whale Jaw 3D! So you found a free car on a cool website that you downloaded, and it's the only one you can find on the whole of the internet. And it's in the useless format of FBX. How dare you! So what do you do? Let's find out in today's episode. So let's start from the beginning. Let's import the model. We need FBX there, look. And as we can see, it's here, look. If we click that one, and then we click Import FBX, if we just delete the cube, and then we can see it's really small. So if we just quickly scale it up, like so, using the empty, and that's how you import the model. So if we now switch to the texture view up here, we can see we've got no texture whatsoever on our model. Basically, it's unpainted. So typically what you would do is click File, External Data, and Find Missing Files. Now, if we click Find Missing Files on the folder, we can see it does nothing. So this is an issue. It's from a different program, and it works differently effectively. So what we need to do is effectively rebuild this whole thing. It sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is. So let's inspect this model. As we can see, it's got no texture on it whatsoever. We're basically missing all the data and we need to go in and rebuild it effectively. So let's fix the missing textures. The model likely came with an extra folder with all the texture maps in it, which is this one here. What we need to achieve is re-establishing all these files in here back onto this model. Luckily, the only part I need to re-establish is the body. This section here. Everything else is a basic texture, say shiny black, carbon fiber, bronze, or some kind of chromed metal. You know what I mean? This is fabric here. So everything, all those things we can basically rebuild ourselves because the data is lost effectively. So the only thing we need is the texture map for the outside of this car because it has like loads of stickers on it and it's got this weird like roughness map with it as well. So we're going to concentrate on that first. So if we have a look what we have in the folder, we can see that we've got three base colors and three roughness maps. Usually what this means is that each one is a different size and the biggest one's the one you want. You know what I mean? So the only thing we need to tackle on this texture is the body. So if we click the body and we open our shader editor, which is down here and here, we can see that our BSDF shader has no texture on it. Now, there should be like a texture here. So if we just click this here and open your Node Wrangler, which is in your add-ons if you haven't opened it already, extremely useful, you will need to then click Add Texture Setup and it creates everything. And when we do this, we notice that every single item turns black. And this is because it was wrapped and then baked effectively. So all the data has been lost. And we're, we're trying to basically put that texture map back on here. So what we need to do is open that image that used to be there. So if we quickly go to our maps here, look, and we open the livery, we want the base coat and want the highest sized one. So we can see, I think it's this one, 2.3, where's the other one? 2.2, yeah. So this is like the largest file size. So I'm assuming this is the one. This is all a testing science, you know what I mean? And as you can see, our entire car on the body is correct right now. It's all coming together. It looks spot on what we want, yeah? Now, the second thing we need to do is, we, there was a roughness map, wasn't there? So what we need to do is effectively do this again, but on the roughness. So if we click on this and press Shift D to duplicate it, put it here, and then run this into our roughness. This is really hard to see. And then we basically delete that old picture and then open the other one. We need to basically put the roughness one in now. These ones here, look. So if we look here, this is the biggest one here, look. I do believe I used this one last time because it is previously up there, but never mind. So if we press open on that now, let it load, we can see, can we see, I think it's on the boot, you see it best. Can you see the roughness difference now? And this is actually how this car is. So... To manage to save this data alone is phenomenal for this model. 
and it is very useful to know this and this is usually all that's wrong with the FBX file is you need to reconnect a texture to the base color and then you'll check the file and it'll tell you what other things you've got you might have like some not a normal map or things like that you know what I mean whereas this is just these two and that will solve the majority of your problems so all we have to do now is go around and create the basic textures so if we say click this one here we need to delete the previous v-ray whatever this is effectively if we delete it it will get rid of the whole thing you know what I mean and I do seem to remember that this is just black so if we create a new shader and just quickly go down and then turn the clear coat up turn the roughness down you know I mean these are basic very very basic things to create in here kind of thing if you wanted to carbon fiber you can obviously add a texture but I'm trying to keep it simple and then obviously you've got your glass so you just click on your glass and it, this is obviously same again delete that texture we're just rebuilding it and what we need to do on this one is change the transmission so it's see-through you know what I mean should we put it into render view so we can see it and then turn the roughness down again kind of thing and you've got your glass you know what I mean and you just work your way through it effectively once you've made it once you can just click on here and then click like this kind of thing if you want to turn the brightness up just go here it's very useful and one last <laughs> One last thing I'd like to show you is you'll have these sections here and you're like, wait a minute, what are those? And I've noticed in the spare folder that we got, we had stickers. So what we can do here is the same again. We delete that and put a new, a new BSDF in and then add a texture setup, open the image. And then we go to, I think it's maps. We have all the stickers and I believe this one's called the lip sticker. Thank God he named them so perfectly. And then it puts the stickers in for you as well. Could do the same again just to show you let's try and get it uh spoiler sticker there we go yeah so you delete that one create a new one click on this add a new texture open it up go to my livery stick uh what is it a boot sticker dash spoiler sticker open that sticker and boom it puts your sticker on for you you know what i mean and you're just going around and rebuilding it effectively and then before you know it you have a fully built car basically and it really is that simple it probably took me 30 minutes the first time to do it if I was to do it again it'd probably take me 10 minutes now I know this information and it's also a very useful tool to learn about texture maps kind of thing because as you don't necessarily need the texture maps as much and as it's so easy to download like free textures now that automate it all for you you just don't practice these things and it's a very useful tool to get to know kind of thing my cats now invaded my lap oh no no boy no, okay no, you cold let me finish this then otherwise i hope you learned something here today if you did consider subscribing because there's going to be plenty more content and um i'll see you next time thank you bye